Hi everyone, Merry Christmas! Yes, today the whole world gathered together to celebrate Jesus' birth. But let me ask you one thing, how many of you know the value of today? See, Bible is the only one source for Christianity to know about Jesus Christ more. But the same Bible does not say anything about the birth day of Jesus Christ. But still, how December 25th became the birthday of Jesus Christ for the entire world to celebrate? What is the important thing that we have to celebrate today? And who is this Jesus whose birthday this entire world celebrates today? And how Christmas became an important day for the whole world? Let me tell you the answer for these all questions. So first of all, let me tell you how December 25th became an honor of the special day for Christians and also for the entire world. On December 25th, Christians around the world will gather to celebrate Jesus' birth. Joyful carols, brightly wrapped gifts, festive foods, these all characterize the feast today, at least in Northern Hemisphere. But just how did the Christmas festival originate? How did December 25th come to be associated with Jesus' birth? As I told you, Bible is only one source for Christians to get the information about Christianity. Now, let us see some of the clues from the Bible itself. So from the evidence of Bible, when Jesus was really born can be assumed based on scripture. One large plot point in the story of Jesus' birth is the presence of shepherds watching over their flocks. This is clearly outlined in the Bible at Luke chapter 2 verses 7 to 8 and is such a prominent part of the story. According to author William Walsh, as published in 1970 book, The Story of Santa Claus, the Christmas decision to use December 25 as the global holiday to celebrate the birth of Jesus came about as a way to hopefully convert pagans to Christianity. It was seen as a compromise between opposing beliefs. As people are not aware of the real date of Jesus' birth, let us take this day to not celebrate the birth of Jesus but to spread the love of Jesus. Many people still living without knowing who Jesus is. Anyway, I am happy that we have a day to remember, to commemorate, to pray, to worship, to spread the name of Jesus to the world. So let us take this day to know really who Jesus is and to know his love towards this world. So today, I also take this opportunity to tell you who Jesus is. See, look into this world. Human beings want to become God and take a name of God and wish to be worshipped by the people. But on or another day, they will die from this world. Still, blind people worship them as God. Many places already, the people who were God proved that they were thieves, having so many black monies, having so many properties and also cheating the people. But who is Jesus Christ? When human beings want to become God, fighting to become God and to be worshipped by human beings, Jesus was only one God who wanted to become human being and live with human being and die for human beings and resurrected for a human being. Yes, he came to this world being a God. He came to this world for all of us to love us, to show us how to live, to show us how to love and he gave his own life and shed his entire blood for save us and he died for us. It means he gave his life for us to purchase us from the sin and he resurrected from the death and he went back to heaven and still living for us, preparing a heavenly world for us to live after the death. Yes. That is the difference you can see from Jesus from all other so-called gods that appearing in this world. Yes, he is a greatest man in the history. He had no servants but they called him master. See, he had no degree, but they called him teacher. Had no medicines, yet they called him healer because he healed so many people in the time of his ministry on this earth. See, his army was not here, but kings feared him. 
he was not surrounded by army or he was not surrounded by any martial arts people but still kings of the earth feared him you know he won no military battles but he conquered the entire world that is why the whole world is celebrating christmas today you know one thing he committed no crime at the crucified him and let me tell you a good news he died and was buried in a tomb yet he resurrected and lives today for all of us his name is jesus whose birthday is celebrated by entire world today yes jesus came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to cross to pay our debt from the cross to the grave when people kept his body into the tomb people thought that everything over but he showed that he is really a god to break the death to break the barriers of death to get the victory over death to go to heaven to be there for us that is why today we celebrate his birthday we look into the history you can see so many burial places of founders of religious traditions or leaders of religions but still today in jerusalem if you go and see there is only one open tomb of jesus christ without any body in that it means jesus conquered the death it means jesus resurrected from the death and still living for all of us yes we can see so many tombs still closed with the dead bodies if you go to sri lanka the tooth relic of buddha is placed in this sanctum in kanti sri lanka you go to saudi arabia the green dome in the al masjid and nabawi in madina saudi arabia the tomb of muhammad the founder of islam religion go to pakistan you can see gurudwara of guru nanak in kartarpur pakistan still there uma the god of death was the son of surya the sun god and the saranya is the twin brother of yami who became the river yamuna according to the belief system but the vedas describe him as the first man who died now let me come back to the life of jesus to tell you that when all the tombs are closed with the dead bodies of gods there is only one tomb still open the open tomb of jesus christ in jerusalem says that still he lives and loves us and eagerly waiting for having a relationship a communion with us if we are ready to open our heart for him he loves us he care for us when all the people leave from us he will be there for us whether you are christian or any other religion is not a matter for him if you believe that he came to this world to die for you still he is living for you and loves you and if you are ready to accept him as your personal savior surely he will be with you always once again merry christmas for all of you as the world is celebrating today let us take this opportunity to know who jesus is and know his love for this in their world may god bless us together through this short word